position to have a positive impact on the mortgage industry by creating opportunities for African Americans to obtain wealth through home ownership. Ms. Johnson saw many barriers to home ownership and decided to be the catalyst of change. Amazing. And the National Association of Real Estate Brokers collaborated with United Security Financial Corporation to build wealth through home ownership and level the playing field for African Americans to obtain mortgage loans. Women like Miss Lois Johnson are trailblazers and game changers yes, who indeed. seek change and embrace diversity at all levels to achieve quality in the lending industry. Miss Lois Johnson is an example of true dedication and commitment. And for this, we honor her work and contributions in the mortgage industry. We are so honored to have her here today with Coffee yes, and are. Conversations for the AMR Elite Realtors with Taylor Property. So y'all, let's give her a warm welcome. Yes, good morning, Ms. Good Johnson. Good morning. Good morning. We're grateful to have you here and we just have a few questions for you, Ms. Johnson. Okay, I'm honored to be here and thanks for having me. Yes, and uh, our first question is going to be, why did you decide to get involved into the mortgage lending business, Ms. Johnson? Well, it was quite easy. I was a uh, top producer, mortgage, I'm sorry, not mortgage, real estate broker with the company that I was working for, and I got all of these sales and then when it went to the mortgage company for an approval a uh, half of them were turned down so that didn't work for me so after that going on for a few months i just decided well i gotta do something about this so i went to the lady that i was taking all of my real estate sales to and talked to her and asked her about maybe me becoming a loan officer and she she replied that I wanted to become a loan officer and um, she took me on. She wanted to take me on as a loan processor but I just thought well you know me being a processor that can't get what I want so and I should have started as a loan processor but that was just you know, I didn't want to start as a loan processor. So she took me on as a loan officer and set me in her office for months after months. And she said, I'm going to make you the best. And that's when I became the best. All right. That's what I'm talking about, Miss Johnson. That is awesome. You have done wonderful things in the mortgage industry. And we are so peacock proud of everything that you've done and what a wonderful woman to have at our Black History Month. That's yes. right, that's, that's right. And so my question is, why do you think that is so important for people to be homeowners, just to have home ownership in today's world? Well, if you think about it, um, most of us um, don't, you know, nine-tenths of the world don't uh, get involved in buying stock are investing in anything that much, but what everybody can invest in a home. And uh, buying real estate is um, the path to wealth. Because mm -hmm. just think about it. True. We all live in a home or an apartment or a condo. So those are people who are acquiring wealth from us. And we're paying that payment for them every month. And That's right. if you stay in it long enough, you are paying for it for them, even though you're written. But what are you getting? I mean, you're getting your livelihood place to stay, but actually they're using your rental uh, that you pay to acquire. Mm -hmm. And that's the easiest way for everybody to acquire wealth who's able to buy a home. If you can pay fourteen, fifteen, even as low as eight hundred or a thousand dollars a month in rent, then you can buy a home and that money is building wealth for you. That's right. So that's 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 one of the reasons 
home ownership is so important. And then in addition to that, it's, it's a pathway to better things. Even if you don't want to just uh, build up a real estate portfolio, if maybe some people don't have the a desire to be, become um, a real estate investor, but everyone wants a nice home. So you start off with a small home and then you live there and then you graduated and probably making more money now. So what you do, you sell that home and then you get your equity out of it and you put it on a nicer home and you just keep going up. And you see if you sell that home to get into a better home or a larger home, you have money left over to do some things that you uh, would like to do. And then if you don't want to sell that house, what you can do, you can refinance that home and you can buy automobiles, you can do home improvements and a lot of other things that you desire in life. Absolutely. Yes, that's a, yes. That's a great information. <laughs> yes, we thank you for all of those things because home ownership is the path to wealth. And definitely, whether you're an investor or you're going to live in that home, that home is worth money to you at all times. And you're always able to sell it, you know, or pass it down to, it, it creates generational wealth as that's well. Because right. you can pass it down to your children and your children's children. And that's a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we are so grateful, Ms. Johnson, that you took the time to have a chit chat with us today at AMRE Realtors. And we want to thank you for your time. And in closing, so we also wanted to ask you if you could share some important strategies with our viewers to help them prepare for home ownership before we close. Okay, one of the most important things uh, for our young adults do is make sure that you stay within your means while you're preparing for a home. Good point. Um, make sure you uh, pay your bills on time. Mm -hmm. That's one of the main things that you have to do is pay your bills on time. Uh, don't important. get too many credit cards because if you're debt heavy, then your ratio, the way we evaluate people when they buy a home, when they're qualifying for a home, we go debt to income. We compare your debt to the income that you're making. And if you have all these bills everywhere, then nine times out of 10, you can't qualify for the home that you desire. So that's one of the main things that you should, um, try to keep in line, try to keep, keep your debts as low as possible. Now, if you just have to have all these charge cards accounts, what you should do, remember, never owe more than 75% of whatever your allowance is. Mm -hmm. If you have a credit line of, um, we'll just use easy figures, $1,000 then it should never be any more than 75% of that, which is $750. If you keep it down lower than 75%, then that balance your FICO score down. Right. Uh, usually FHA loans, uh, your loan to value, I mean, your income to value is a little bit higher, you know, but Fannie Mae, Fannie Mae is really strict on it. And Fannie Mae loans are conventional loans. Uh, if you're really trying to get into a home, make sure that you uh, stay on the job. You have to have at least two years of employment unless you're just right out, you know, out of school or something like that. They, we'd like for you to have two years. But if you don't have two years, we can always just verify good income stability. Got you. Um, information. Other yes. than that, um, basically, those are the main things that you should do. If you keep that credit going good and stay on the job for a while, you can qualify to buy a home as well as you can qualify to rent a home. 
Cool. It's so just true. that easy. Mm -hmm. And so many people think, well, I can't do it, but you can do it. If you can afford to pay $1,500 a month in rent, then you can afford to pay $1,500 for a house payment. And the rental income that I see nowadays, some of it is uh, higher than the mortgage payments. Mm -hmm. That's true. Because rent true. is definitely going up in this economy. Especially here in the DMV. So. Yes, most definitely. That is so true. So if you stay within uh, your income bracket, then you can buy a home. If you rent a condo or an apartment, you can certainly find a home for fifteen to $2,000 or even less. In, in condos now, the values are not increasing on condos as fast as they are on homes. And you as real estate brokers and realtors, you know that you can get, if, even if you have to do a condo, do a condo because as I indicated, you're still creating wealth for yourself. Mm -hmm. so true. That is so true. Thank you for all of those tips because they are so true because rent is steadily increasing in the Maryland, D.C., Virginia area and all around. But it is always better to own than to rent because I always tell people, if you're renting, you're still paying a mortgage. You're just not paying your own mortgage. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's the so difference. That's great information. And so we want to just close out. We know you are a busy lady and we just want to thank you so much for giving us a few moments of your time and your amazing knowledge in the industry. And so we appreciate you at the AMR Elite Realtors with Taylor Properties. It was so grateful to have an opportunity to speak with you. For our listeners that are watching, you got those nuggets that Ms. Johnson dropped for you guys. So now is the time to purchase a home and make it happen. And like she said, it is obtainable. So you can do this. You just need to get with the right realtors. We have all the information and the people in the industry that can get you in your home for 2022. And yes, Ms. Johnson, please share with our viewers how they can apply for a mortgage with United Security Financial so that they can change from being a renter to an owner. Can you give us that information? Yes. Uh, our website is uh, unitedsecurityfinancial.com. Yes, and they okay. would go in there and apply. And um, they can... I, I beg your pardon? Excuse me, they would go in and apply on the online? You go in and apply online, and there's someone always checking the applications that come in. I would like to add one thing to what I did leave out. I don't, I don't want to leave this out. United Security has a down payment assistant program, and it's not tied in to the government. It's not tied in to county or state government. It's our own down payment assistant program, and we will go 3.5% down on FHA loans, and 3% down on Fannie Mae loans. You don't have to pay it back, you keep it for three years. But if, say for instance, if you wanted to refinance that uh, home, then we will allow you to refinance that home. You still have to be with us, but as long as you put in three years, then you do not have to pay that down payment assistance. Mm, that's that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. That's a very good tool for your buyers. And a lot of people have problems saving that down payment, you know, making their day-to-day -day obligations mm -hmm. and trying to save a down payment. Sometimes that becomes difficult for people. Mm -hmm. But our down payment assistant program will get them in there for you. And realtors and brokers, it will help add to your sales. Yes, it will. Absolutely. Yes, we definitely going. That is awesome. So that is amazing. So thank you again. Thank you for all that information. So what do we say we are, Juanita? We are reliable realtors providing okay. exceptional service. No need to go far. Come, Come on, on down, down to AMR. Thank Thanks you so much, Ms. Johnson. Thank you so we much. We love you. We love you. Okay, Jason, best wishes to you. Thank you. Thank you.